Hey guys, welcome to Data Science Tutorials and in today's video I will going to talk about how you can create the word cloud for doing the text analytics. If you have seen my past couple of videos where I have talked about uh, introduction of text analytics then we have cleaned up and created the documental matrix and there itself I think we created the word cloud. If not here then probably here. Uh, when we created the text classifier model using NavePyres. So just picked up from that and received some queries about how we can further enhance the word cloud. So thought of just creating uh, another video series of two or three videos to clearly tell you how you can really go ahead and do the uh, word cloud or explore the word cloud feature in R and create some stunning word cloud features which is sometimes very helpful in understanding large conversations let's say uh, over a period of month how what our salespeople are really talking about or management is talking about so basically combining all of the emails or all of the uh, generally available conversation that you have on your intranet or internet and then you know producing a word cloud out of it to get a sense that how the company or how the organization or how the uh, government is, is really moving and talking about a lot. So with that expectation, uh, let's go ahead and see it. But quick information that if you want to learn about ClickView, then you can visit my channel Data and Tools. And if you want to learn about uh, Tableau or other programming tutorials, then you can visit my channel BI and Programming Tutorial Videos. All right, let me go to R where I have the script ready for you. So here is the script uh, that is related to the Independence Day speech here in India given by the Prime Minister Modi. So if you want to know where the speech is, then I just searched it over here, Modi Independence Day speech. And this is the second link where I have the speech in English so i just opened up this and uh, here is the speech so i just took this speech pasted it into the uh, text file uh, like this and saved it in my local drive so this is the entire speech uh, i just took it by copying and pasting and then finally importing it over here uh, so the name of the file is pmodspeech.txt. So this is just one example. You can also, uh, uh, you know, copy the same from first post or, or anywhere else where it is available, or you can take the example of your own. But the idea is that the commands that I'm going to show you will going to work as it is, as it just needs the simple text data for producing the word cloud. All right, so let's go ahead and create the uh, create the object based on the speech. So control enter. So it has uh, giving us a warning message, but that's just normal warning message. No need to worry about that. Next thing is if you want to see the lines, then we can just view the entire object by pressing control enter. And here is the entire speech which was given. So we have done nothing but just we have pasted the entire information by just specifying the name of the object we created here to make sure that all of the information is coming uh, in our object. The next thing is about uh, importing the text mining libraries which is to build the word, word corpus from the speech as well as cleaning of data or transformation of data for producing the word cloud. So we are importing the library dm. If you don't have dm package, then you can install it by using install.packages command. Install.packages and specify dm. Press control enter and you will get the package. Since I already have it, I will not install it, but I just press control enter. Now after pressing control enter, the library is imported and next thing what i'm doing is creating the corpus based on the information present in the modi cloud as a vector source so what we are saying is just in create this corpus based on the vector of uh, as a vector source data so control enter and once you enter the information uh, the corpus or the enter the command your corpus is created if you want to inspect it you can say 
uh, inspect that will show you the content otherwise if you show if you will enter the command directly let's say modi score corpus then it will not show you anything so to view the corpus you have to use the inspect and what you can do is you can look at the specific information let's say uh, five seven control enter then it will show you only those five six sevens three three document basically otherwise if you don't specify this it will show you the entire document so that's not what we want so let's keep it keep it as it is next thing is about cleaning the data and uh, that is required so that uh, we get the good outcome when we are displaying the word cloud so first thing is converting all the information into a lowercase so we have we are creating here a new object clean underscore corpus and then passing the moody underscore corpus which we created over here from the moody underscore cloud so after let's press control enter so all of the information is now into a lowercase second thing is removing numbers if there is any third thing is uh, removing the punctuation and before i move it i just give you quick information that in the first command we passed on the uh, corpus but in the subsequent commands what we are passing is the earlier clean information so as you can see it's not the corpus which we have passed again but the earlier created object so that we are incrementally uh, cleaning the data so we have removed the numbers let's remove the punctuation let's strip the white spaces it's a very straightforward command so after that remove any stop words like the is and things like those words so control enter stop words and stemming the document so that something like win winner winning all of that will be converted into just one probably win in this case so control enter and we have stamped the document so now we have the pretty much clean data and after that uh, you can again inspect if you want to inspect so let's say 1 to 10 and if you will see all information in lower case and it will be a little bit hard because we have stamped the document we have removed the stop words like in the good wish th independent day today every indian all of that so that is because all of the cleaning operations that have been performed on this particular analysis after this uh, straightforwardly you can uh, create the word cloud based on the cleaned corpus and for that you can you need to import the library word cloud as i mentioned earlier if you don't have the library you can use the command install dot packages to get the library after this first let's uh, simply go ahead and create the corpus so i'll just expand it a little bit so that you can see the word cloud properly so i'll just specify the word cloud the clean corpus that we created over here in the last command and minimum frequency is equals to one what it is basically saying that it, the word which is appearing in this entire speech should have come at least once so that's that's by default otherwise if you want to say that uh, i just want all of those words which have been said at least five times by pm modi then you can specify it as five or ten or two whatever you want so let's let's go ahead with two right now control enter so this is the word cloud which is very basic and if i zoom it these are the things which have been said so things which is large in size like will bill land govern good need state all of these things have been said a lot and things like here real pay corrupt gst and uh, things like to confirm parliament they have not been said a lot so that's how you can easily see the things which have been said a lot next thing is uh, how you can go ahead and make it more user friendly for your end users so for that you can pass on these two commands clean corpus minimum frequency as it is 
and then you can use the colors to fill the colors which by using the color brewer package and uh, you can use the function brewer.pal and uh, specify in line comma sat2 how i am specifying it you can see it by looking at uh, brewer.pal question mark brewer.pal and that's basically if i go down that's what i'm using nine set two so nine set one eight set two so i need to specify it here eight so that's the uh, way the, these are the different ways by which you can specify accent eight so let's try to create it with the eight set two and then we can explore a little bit more and then random order is equals to false so what it basically says is that if you have looked at uh, the previous one here it was true by default because that's what not we have specified in the first command so in that way the if you are saying it false that means those words which have been said a lot will come in the center and then the boundaries will be surrounded by those words which have not been said a lot so that's what it is meant by random order if it is true if it is false then the main words will come in the center and the less uh, important word or less said words will be surrounded uh, or near to the boundaries and this is like a rotation so if we want to specify a custom rotation then we can do that so probably what i can do is i can just remove this for now or maybe remove this entire piece and just go with the color information to better see it so Control enter and it will take a couple of seconds so if you can see currently it is a random order random is equals to true so that's why you can see every word is is basically present anywhere because of the random order so that's that's the one now let's try to put random dot order is equals to true control enter and now you will see the important word will come in the center so random order is equals to sorry false true is by default control enter so now you will see the words will come in the center which are important here in this case bill and all of those important words and the it is surrounded by all of those words which is uh, not so important or less said in the speech after this uh, rot dot per that means rotation by default i think it is uh, 90 degree but you can change it to something else so maybe let's say 0 0.50 you can play around with this control enter and you will see how it is uh, this parameter will going to change so a little bit of change or you can experiment let's say 0 0.30 control enter which i specified earlier and let's see how it will change so now it is changing so whatever is uh, making sense for you based on that you can go ahead and create the word cloud so earlier i mentioned about the color brewer and what we took was eight set two eight set two this parameter and uh, we got this plot if we want to change it let's say uh, accent eight so eight is already present what i will just say is accent and control enter it will change the word cloud like this so this is more or less about what parameters what color brewer package what rotation random order is making sense to you based on that you can change the parameter and make the stunning word cloud but that's not pretty much all uh, the reason is uh, sometimes people ask about how you have really created or how you have really identified uh, this will land that they have been said a lot it's more or less like auditing of data so sometimes you need to you know put the data in a proper order because if you will look at clean corpus this will not tell you much because it does not show you the frequency however mostly the work done by the word cloud on the fly to really see what word have been said more frequent so in the next 
videos, uh, I will talk about how you can create a word cloud with a different uh, uh, data set or with the same data, but uh, the shape of the data will be different and that will be more meaningful for your end user to understand and see okay if you are showing that will land or bill here in this case have been said a lot then you are actually showing them the frequency or how frequent like 10 times 15 times or 50 times they have been said so that i will show you and uh, in uh, Apart from that, uh, there is also a possibility within the word cloud to, to see the correlation between the words. And we were going to see it in another video, how you can really see the correlation between the words to get the better idea about uh, the, the things or the perception or the, the thought process which is going in the mind of a narrator or, or the speaker and analyze it with the help of the data which will give you some advantage over how the policies here in this case as it is independence day speech it will be more and more related to a policy or if it is a corporate then what will be the corporate strategy based on the speeches which are coming from the leaders you can really analyze the correlation between that and see how how uh, it will you know how your organization will going to turn up in the future based on the things which have been said today so stay tuned for that and uh, I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.